Hey, welcome back to another video. Now in this video, we're talking about email. More importantly, how you can actually utilize email to book more meetings for your web design business. Quite regularly, I hear that email is dead. And honestly, guys, that is just not true. Email is still a very, very important part of your manual outreach process. Email still works very, very well when done correctly. Yes, don't get me wrong, it's become a bit more difficult as the years have changed. People have become a lot more wiser to templated spammy style emails. So you just have to be a bit smarter with it. And in this video today, I'm going to talk you through the process that we utilize in the agency when we email out and still get a very positive result from it. When you do it correctly, it does work. Now within the agency, we actually utilize a multi-platform outreach approach, okay? So email does play a role in that. We also have phone calls and we also have direct messaging via Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, AKA social platforms. So there's three individual ways there that we can contact a business. And email does, as I say, play a very important role in that. So in this video today, I'm gonna to talk you through the process of how you can actually build your emails correctly to get a positive response. Also towards the end of the video, we actually have some email structures, AKA templates that we've actually built and utilized within our agency and have struck in a very positive result. So make sure you stick around to the end and check those out. Now, before we dive onto the screen, please do remember to hit subscribe, hit the bell notification too, and you'll be notified of any future releases on this channel. Also, let me know down in the comments, guys, how are you getting on with the email? Are you finding that it still works? Okay, I'd love to know. Now, without further ado, let's go. Okay, cool, guys, here we are on screen. Now, this presentation is going to help you use email to book more meetings so you can essentially sign up new clients within your web design business. Now, I hear all the time that email is dead, and it's not. Yes, it's changed and perhaps got a little bit more difficult, but it still very much works when used correctly. So I'm going to share with you how we use email within the agency and still manage to get a positive result from it. All right now I will just keep this presentation fully raw. I'm not going to go into presentation mode because I'll lose the use of my mouse. Before we go, I just want to make you aware that email is a numbers game. It's slightly different to cold calling because you cannot get a response there and then like you can on the phone. So email is easier to be ignored. So you do have to be very, very smart with it. You have to get their attention. You have to to strike emotion, you have to be engaging in order for them to even read the email and possibly respond. Okay, so there's a lot that goes into it and we're gonna cover all of that off in this lesson now. So I wanna be clear that the main aim of your email is to get your offer. So we've covered the offer in a previous lesson, but we're gonna be getting your offer in front of your ideal client. Okay, so that's the main aim here. You wanna get your offer, put it in front of your client. Hopefully it's something that they want and they're aware that they need what it is that you're offering and then they will book a meeting with you. Now, I just want to recap on the acquisition flow. Again, if you haven't seen this, we covered it in a previous lesson, but just to recap on it, you'll see a lot of people just, you know, they try to go from ideal client, so finding their ideal client and just turning them straight into a customer. The guys, that doesn't work. If you just try to sell, hard sell to a customer, whether it is via phone, email, direct message, whatever the touch point is, it's not going to work because they don't know you, they don't trust you, and they probably don't even like you. I, I don't know. But ultimately, this does not work okay what does work is having multiple touch points between each of the ideal client and signing them up okay so we have a touch point we have the conversation so whether that takes place on messenger or over email or over the phone we have booked meeting we have the sales call or discovery call however you want to label it and then you sign that client up all right so the touch point here is what we're going to be focusing on this is our touch point and the touch point in this instance is going to be email now there's other touch points that you can utilize whether it's direct messaging whether it is cold calling. There's definitely other ways that you can utilize. You could go in to a physical store and start a conversation with them, okay? But the touch point here in this lesson, we are focusing on email because I know there's a lot of you out there that are trying to make email work for your business. Because if you're anything like me and I'm introverted, I actually favor email because I can do this in the comfort of my own home. I don't have to put myself out there and jump on the phone. And it makes me feel more comfortable in what I'm delivering. And the rest of the process for me personally is amazing. So if you're anything like me, you're going to be wanting to utilize email. So let's have a look at the email and basically understand where people go wrong. Now, similar to the acquisition system, which we've just covered here, uh, you know, people trying to go from ideal client, hard selling and trying to sign them up as a customer. They're not utilizing the multiple touch points. They do that with their email as well. They will write an email and we'll just try to sell them on the first line. Like, hi, Tristan, I want to give you a new website, which is ridiculous. But trust me, there's people out there doing it. So you don't want to sell anything on your email. Okay. You don't really want to be 
absolutely hard selling anything. You just want to create intrigue and you want to sell the meeting. Okay. You want to sell a conversation. Okay. If you're selling anything, it's a conversation. All right. So with your email there, th there does have to be a structure guys. Honestly, if you focus on getting the user to read the next line only and then the next one and so on until they get to the last, you're going to get a much better response. Okay. So your first line can't be doing what the last line should be doing. All right. That's the purpose of this arrow. The first line can't be trying to book that meeting. You need to have a structure where you're going from line to line to have them read the entire email and then book them on a call. Okay. Because if you try and do what the last line is supposed to do in your first line, they're going to start reading it and it's going to go bin, delete, spam, whatever. Right? And that's not what we want. We want them to get to the end of the email. I generally think there are three key components to any email and most certainly the emails that I've been writing over the past year or so within my business. So you've got relevant hook or intrigue. You've got your offer. So remember, we're taking our offer and we're trying to get it in front of our ideal client. So you need to define what that offer is. And then there needs to be a call to action. Okay, don't forget that. You want to be so stupidly clear what it is you want the person to do. And that is booking a call with you. You have to be explicit about that because otherwise it sounds silly. They get to the end of the email and they think, well, what do I do with this? Do I ignore it or do I reply? What do they want me to do? Okay, so you have to be really clear with that. So I have got a couple of examples here for you of things that I've written and have worked within my business in the past. And you'll see how these three steps that we've just referenced here, so the three key components, I've shown you how this translates into real world emails. Now, guys, I don't recommend that you copy these templates, but please just use them as a guide. I'm putting them out there knowing full well that some of you will probably copy them. But I wanted to show you how this looks with regards to how we book calls, mostly for our SEO clients, or if we're looking to strike a conversation with regards to SEO and then get onto a conversation about their websites, this is kind of our foot in the door. So our hook and our intrigue reads like this. So this was reaching out to a skin pigmentation clinic. They sold makeup, I believe. Now we've put skin pigmentation sucks. It's great to see that sweet Leonati is fixing this with corrective makeup. The thing is that stands out the most is the aid the foundation delivers to pigmented area because it's no secret traditional makeup can do more damage than good. And that's an example of, of a hook. So we've done our research as our personalized line. We've looked at their products. We know what they're doing and we agree with what they're doing. So that is intentionally being personal. Okay, you have to be personal in our emails. Remember, we're using their name. And then on the next line, we've got our offer block. Okay, so what is it that we're offering? So this reads, in the past 12 months, we've helped others more than two times their organic traffic and online sales without the need for ads. Okay, so actually what we're offering is, we're not saying we're offering you SEO because people don't know what that is. Okay, just like with a website, you wouldn't say we're offering you a website. You'd put something like we're offering you better online presence or we're offering you a website that's better than your competitors. We're offering you, a more effective lead generation tool, okay? You need to identify what your potential business is pain points are, and then you need to be able to deliver a solution to them. So what we're doing is we're targeting a pain point of people not being able to generate traffic without spending thousands on paid advertisement, okay? So we're saying we can do this organically using SEO, and we've more than two times organic traffic over the last 12 months. So we're giving them a time frame. I'm diving quite deep into the offer here. It will give you an idea of what this section is supposed to do, all right? Then we are saying we're so confident that we we can improve your results if we don't like we work for free plus we'll send you a hundred dollars for wasting the time okay so we're that confident that if we haven't managed to say that we can do what we're going to do we're not only refund them we will pay them money okay so that's how confident we are now we do have a guarantee with our seo in the sense that if you don't see a positive uplift in the keywords that we're trying to track within the first 30 days they are entitled to a refund the reason for this is because there's a lot of agencies out there that will charge a retainers for seo and sign them up for six to twelve months and we don't want to do that we we are so confident that we can positively impact their SEO on a monthly basis that if they're not happy because we haven't done the work, they are free to leave. All right, so this is about making it a no brain offer. All right, and then our call to action is what day works best for a 15 minute call. Okay, so we're just being real casual here. We're saying we, we want a call. So we're asking them to reply. We're asking them a question, what day works best? We'd expect a reply from them. All right, now here we have a slightly different example. We're doing something a little bit different, being a bit out there and basically just adding, adding a joke. You know, we wanted to add some humor and try try that out. And actually this also had a positive response. It's just an uh, example, name and business. But we've got, hi, I have a question. What's a dog's favorite movie? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Bane. Okay, silly, silly punny joke. And then you'll see here that our hook intrigue goes into our offer. All right, so you can see that the line's going through the middle because we're merging it. Right, so I hope that made you chuckle as it did me. Anyway, my name is Tristan. I'm more than just a fan of what you're doing. We help pet groomers like you increase online bookings through websites that rank higher 
on Google. Okay, in the past 12 months that we have helped to more than two times organic traffic, etc., etc. Very similar to the last one, but it just gives you an idea of how we're changing our hope can our intrigue at the top. All right, very, very similar call to action as well. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you found that valuable. Okay, you now know that you cannot take an email and try and cold sell them in the first line. Okay, you have to be very strategic and structured with it. There's a structure to an email and you now know how to follow it. And also you've been given some solid examples of things that have worked for us in the past. So there is a ton of value, hopefully, that you've got from this video. I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. It helps the algorithm, helps other people find my content. Hit the subscribe button as well. Hit the bell notification and be notified of future releases. I always appreciate the support. If you've got any questions or want to leave me a comment, please make sure that you do so down below. Again, I'd appreciate that. I try to respond to all the comments on the channel. There is an end screen coming up with more valuable content, so make sure that you check that out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.